For a dedicated follower of the Vaishnava religious tradition, Vrindavan, India is the most sacred place on earth. In 1965, His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, left the holy city of Vrindavan to deliver the message of Krishna consciousness to the Western countries. At the request of his spiritual master, Srila Prabhupada gave up his peaceful and contemplative life there in order to preach the most profound wisdom of ancient India to the rest of the world. No one could have imagined that in a few short years, Srila Prabhupada would have created a revolution in spiritual consciousness and become the Acharya, the spiritual teacher to so many people. He had founded the International Society for Krishna Consciousness, a worldwide confederation of over 100 ashrams, schools, temples, and farm communities, and had made the chanting of Hare Krishna familiar to millions of people. And he had written and published over 80 volumes of translation and commentary on self-realization, which are now standard in universities and libraries around the world. Srila Prabhupada circled the globe 11 times between 1966 and 1977, and he met countless political, social, and religious leaders in scores of countries on every continent. He would speak at great length, and often with considerable intensity on various subjects. During these discourses, Srila Prabhupada would turn the profound Vedic philosophy into a practical cutting edge that penetrated every sphere of life and thought. Srila Prabhupada taught that there can be no real peace or brotherhood in human society as long as we are murdering our brothers, the animals. Nature's laws of karma, action and reaction, ensure that violence is repaid with violence. In other words, as you sow, so shall you reap. Srila Prabhupada's views were always persuasive because they rested on systematic logic and sound philosophy. He once said, Philosophy without religion is mental speculation, and religion without philosophy is sentimentality. For example, it is necessary uh, 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 for the food of man to eat, to eat, man, man can eat grains, food grains, fruits, milk, sugar, wheat. Not, not, uh, pas de chair, pas de, not, uh, no flesh. No flesh? No. Why? That's like the fruits. The fruits are meant for human beings. Yes. The tiger does not come to eat your fruits. Yes. So tiger's food is another animal. Man's food is fruit. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, Grain and plants are also living beings. That's all. That's living beings. That, that we also understand. Yes, sir. But if, if you can live just like uh, generally, if I can live on food and grain, and me, why should I kill another animal? Yes. Yes. Really? Another thing is that how can you suppose that animal killing is not seen? Yes. Comment how do we justify that killing of all animals is not seen? That killing of all animals is not seen? That killing of all animals is not seen? How do you justify it? Yes, sir. Uh, because uh, uh, we uh, we thought uh, that uh, there is a difference of nature between uh, life of man, uh, la life of spirit, and uh, biological biological life, and we think that all the creation of animal and of plant is given by God to the man to help the man in order to realize his vocation. Uh, himself, your grace, said uh, that uh, uh, only uh, the spirit 
is real beings and the remain is appearance and not really exists. And we think so. We think that animals, plants are not real beings, are world of appearance and that a human person only is real being. And that uh, in this sense, the material world is without importance. Now, I follow. <laughs> Suppose you are living in this house. Yes. So, uh, you are not this house. That's a fact. Yes, yes. But if I come and break your house, yes. is it not inconvenience for you? Yes, surely. Surely it is inconvenient. So if but I cause inconvenience unto you, yes. is it not criminal? It is inconvenient to me, but is no. if I cause some inconvenience to you, yes. is it not criminal? Uh, is it not sinful? I, I think uh, if uh, there is uh, a serious uh, reason, uh, it is not uh, the destruction of uh, the spiritual uh, uh, man itself. Uh, by example, it is uh, perfectly possible uh, to um, uh, use of uh, uh, the reality of the material world, of the natural world, uh, to uh, the uh, valuable finality of uh, human vocation. We think that uh, the question is a question of motivation. Uh, it could uh, uh, exist bad reason to kill an animal. But if uh, the killing of animal is to give food to children, men, women, oui, uh, on faim, qui on faim. Uh, yeah, actually, actually. Hungry. Yeah. You are hungry, it is legitime, legitime. We have, uh, it is difficult to, to admit no. that in India, comment dit-on, les vaches. The cows. Yes. Yeah. Cows. <laughs> it is not uh, permitted to kill a cow. A cow? to give uh, to children who are hungry uh, the... Uh, but from, from any other consideration, cow's milk we drink. Yes. That was his mother. Yeah. Is it not? Elle dit que on boit le lait de la vache, et donc elle est notre mère, n'est-ce pas? Oui, oui, yes, sur le lait, sur le lait. But uh, according to uh, yes, Vedic uh, Vasa, yes, we have got seven mothers. Mm. Adho Mata, the original mother. Yes. Guru Padme. Yes. Wife of the master, spiritual master. Can you understand? Et il dit que selon la vision védique, il, y a, il existe sept mères yes, pour yes, la femme. Yes, yes, D'abord, la mère uh, maternelle, oui. naturelle. Adho Mata Guru Patne, Brahmani, yes. the wife of the priest. Deuxièmement, yes. uh, la femme. Oui. Oui. Raja Patnika, yes. the wife of king. Yes. Du du roi, roi, the oui. queen. queen. Oui, oui, oui. Four. Oui. Adu Mata Guru Patni Brahmani Raja Patnika. Dhenu. Dhenu means cow. Yes. Dhenu Dhatri. Dhatri means nurse. Mm -hmm. Tatha Prithi. Mm -hmm. Prithi means arch. These are seven mouths. Yes, yes. So, cow is mother. Because we drink means cows mean. Yes. How can I deny that she is not mother? Yes. So how we can support killing of mother? Yes. Yes, it is a, a, a motive. But we see that uh, the therefore in India, those who are needy, yes. 
their advice. Uh, that is also under restriction. Advice to kill some lower animals. Yes. Like goats, uh, even up to uh, buffalo. But cow killing yes. is the greatest sin. Yes, 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 yes. We, we, uh, I, I know this, I know this. I know this. This is uh, for us of, uh, <laughs> a difficult day. Of, uh, difficult yes, day. because the cow is yes. mother. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. You, you take the milk from the mother. Yes, yes. And so when she is old, she cannot give you milk. Therefore, she should be killed. Yes. Is that very good proposal? Est-ce que ça c'est une est-ce que c'est une bonne proposition que quand la vache devient trop vieille pour donner du lait, on la tue? Oui, oui, oui. Il says yes. Il says yes. It is a good proposal. If if the man are hungry, it is the life of man is more important than the life of cow. Therefore, because we are propagating this Krishna consciousness. Yes. We ask people to not to eat meat, any kind. Yes, yes. But if under certain circumstances you are obliged to eat meat, yes, eat the flesh of some lower animals. Yes, Don't kill cows. Mm -hmm. It is the greatest thing. Yes. And so long. One will be seen food, he will not be able to understand yes. what is God. Yes. But human being, main business is to understand God yes. and to love Him. Yes. But if he remains sinful, mm -hmm. neither he can understand God yes. and what to what is the question of loving. Yes. Yes. Therefore, at least from the human society, yes. this cruel maintenance of slaughterhouses yes. must be stopped. Yes. Oui, il dit que lorsque euh, il est recommandé dans les écrits bibliques que si on si on doit manger de la viande, mm -hmm. on doit c'est mieux de tuer des animaux inférieurs oui, oui. à la vache. Oui. Et donc <rire> ces, ces abattoirs qui existent actuellement doivent être fermés si on veut avancer oui. l'espèce oui. humaine. I think that uh, Perhaps this is not an essential point. I think that in this realm, the uses of various religions can be good. The important is to love God, but the commandment practical can be various. That's, that's like uh, God. Uh, if God says that you can do this, yes. that is not sin. Yes. But if God says that you cannot do it, yes. then it is sin. That is our pleasure. Isavasaninam sadvam. Everything belongs to God. That's it. Under the influence of Maya, we are thinking, and this is my problem. Just like suppose this Kusha, where from the wood has come? Has anybody produced wood? Who has produced? God's property. Is it not? You are a barrister, you can judge it. <laughs> that was the argument he used. <laughs> no, it wasn't quite like that. <laughs> <laughs> Originally, everything belongs to God. So why you are claiming it is my property? Son must know the property is ours. <coughs> That is the real knowledge. Now, whatever Father has given me, I will use it 
twice have I been crowed upon other, my other brother which he has got from his hands. This is good sense. But when I fight with my other brother, my father has given him this property to him. So let him use that. And what what he has given me, let me use it. Why should I enclose it on his part? I can understand. I'm sorry. Uh, I can understand when you say don't encroach on other people's property. Um, and I think if I understand you correctly, what you're saying is that if you have something, your father has given you something, and someone else wants to use it, well, let him. Um, I can understand that, but don't you get to the stage, or can't you get to the stage at times, that for some reason or other, you don't want him to use it. We are believing that everything belongs to God. If someone else does not believe in that concept and tries to use what we... That is wrong. That I say. That is his wrong concept. Well, how do you... How do you... Um, reconcile, or how do you... Um, work out a situation. If, if everything belongs to God, yeah. we have to run society. But and you don't forget that everything belongs to God, because you have to run society. It does not mean that you forget the real thing. Well, so I, I really don't object to that idea at all. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that our the system we're working within um, has got yeah, different concepts. You should rectify. We should be sort of rectify. The system, rectify. The system should be rectified. Our thing is that everyone should be convinced or understand clearly that everything belongs to God. But they have no conception of God. That is. The whole human society at the present moment Majority, they got less, especially the communists. They don't acknowledge the scientists, the philosophers, <coughs> the scholars, all of this. But you can't say that scientists are working yes, in a way yes. that is opposite to God's yes. will. Oh yes, I met, met many scientists. They say that we, we shall solve everything by scientific and we have done already. You see that? But just because they it's are... like there is a big theory, chemical theory, one big scientist, big or small, whatever he may be, <laughs> he has got a Nobel Prize. He's <laughs> medium-sized. He's <laughs> medium-sized. Yeah. He is making the theory, the life has come, come from chemical. The chemical community. Chemical evolution. Darwin's theory is also that. Mm. This is the big, big scientists. They are so full that life has come from matter. Where is the proof? It's not a very good... lecture in California University. And there was one student, he is my disciple. He challenged him that he to get the chemicals, whether he can manufacture life. That answer was, that I cannot say. What? You are putting this theory that life has come from chemical. So science means observation and experiment. Now, experimental, experimentally prove, get the chemicals and produce a life. They're trying. <laughs> that is not a business. <laughs> when you are trying to be a lawyer, a barrister, that doesn't mean you are a barrister. When you are a student of law, you cannot say that I am a barrister. I am a You cannot say that. You are trying to be. That is another thing. Well, that's what they find. <laughs> why they are trying to be, they are taking the position of leader. That is the misleading.
that is described in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Andhadatham dhai rupuniyama. One blind man is trying to lead many other blind men. What is the use of such living? But can't you have people um, doing good for the sake of goodness? He does not know what is good. But there are certain things. That's why I said blind. There are certain <coughs> things which intrinsically are good. good. Real goodness is to understand God. That is real good. There, there are certain things that you don't, that, that are good, that you can accept as being good, just by themselves. Uh, you see an old lady who gets run over by the by a car. You go and help her. Now, there, there are certain things that are good by themselves, I think, and that people will react and do the good thing, even though they mightn't have any concept of God. No. Unless you have got the real platform, how you can do good? Just like our Mother Dhani Maharaj uh, was realized to you, they have done some good in legal affairs. But unless you are a lawyer, legal man, how can you do it? You have a mind to to good, to do good. Uh, but if you are not a lawyer, how could you do? But there would be a lot of lawyers that, that do that good. That is God. Thing. I'm talking of yourself. If man does not know what is good, then how will do good? The such business is that he must know what is good. Then he can do something. Otherwise, what is the use of jumping like monkey? So therefore, anyone who is posing himself as leader to do good to the society, he must know first of all what is good. But you should see whether you are successful. And what is the standard of success? The standard of success is whether you are pleased God. O best among the twice born, it is therefore concluded that the highest perfection one can achieve by discharging his, pre his prescribed duties, dharma, according to caste divisions and order of life, is to plead, please the Lord, Hari. That is it. That's it. So, uh, whether by my profession, by my business, by my talent, by my capacity, there are different categories. Whether I have pleased God, then it is it. India is still a one has very good garden <coughs> and flowers. <coughs> if somebody goes, sir, I want to take some flowers from your garden for worshiping God. Yes, you can take. They will be very glad. This man, his livelihood depended on those flowers. And I, don't, I think he, uh, his possessions were more important to him, unfortunately. It's a funny story. There's a funny follow-up that one, and that is that um, the flowers were taken from two men that ran nurseries, and um, we had to go through an appeal finally to get home. But just before the appeal came on, uh, 
the boys needed a glass house because they've got special plants which you've got outside here. And they didn't know anything about glass houses, so they're driving around. And one said, well, let's go and find out something about glass houses. Oh, there's a nice nursery. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, car, the car drives up, you see, and the <laughs> devotee goes out, and he said, uh, Excuse me, sir, but we're interested in glass houses. He said, Will you please get out of my land? Say nursery. <laughs> out of 200 nurseries around the area, he picked that particular one. <laughs> The Shasti Bhakti Bhagavati Akinchana Sarvai Gunai Tattva Samasati Sura Harama Bhaktasya Kuto Mahaduguna Mano Rathena Asato Dhavatu Vahi The meaning is that anyone who is God conscious, devotee, he has got all the good qualities. what we consider as good qualities, he has not. And similarly, one who is not a devotee of God, he has no good qualities. Because he will hover on the mental platform. There are different platforms. Bodily concept of life, general, and this body. Therefore, my business is to satisfy the senses. This is bodily concept of life. <clears throat> and others, they are thinking, I am not this body, I am mind. Well, they are going on mental speculation, like philosopher, thoughtful man. And above that, <coughs> there is interim class of men practicing some yoga. And spiritual platform is above that. First bodily concept, gross, then mental, then intellectual, then spiritual. <coughs> so this Krishna consciousness movement is on the spiritual platform, above body, mind, and intelligence. But actually we should come to that platform because we are spirit soul. We are neither this body, nor this mind, nor this intelligence. So uh, one who is on the platform of spiritual consciousness, they have got everything, intelligence, proper use of mind, proper use of the body. Uh, and everything is there. He must be at the same time, although he is hero, he must be generous. Just like Alexander the Great, perhaps you know the story, he arrested one thief. So when he was arrested and he was being judged by Alexander. The thief pleaded that what is the difference between you and me? You are a great thief, I am a small thief. <laughs> <laughs> so he, Alexander understood it and got him with his yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is generosity. He must agree to the principle. Well, there is another one, the battle. Remember the big bank on, mm. where the opposition, what was his name, was on the ground, mm. and he said... Abhimaya was surrounded by the Maharatis. There was no mercy then. So now Ghana was uh, objecting that uh, you, yes, yes. you cannot uh, shoot a man if he gets off his chariot. Oh. And Krishna said there was no mercy with Abhimanu, so therefore there will be no mercy now. He did what that. But where was, <laughs> where was the generosity then? Now what? That is happening. Did what that. Is that generosity? Or? 
Was that where was no. the generosity? That <laughs> just times while well, surely is times today. <laughs> that is <laughs> what tactics. Yeah. That is what tactics. He's going to bring some prasadam to you. Okay. Give some prasadam for them. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We invited everyone over to one uh, Ugasrava's house one night. We had a big party, and Wally came, and Raymond came, and they they became very much addicted to prasadam. <laughs> Rapashakalan Gunana Basha Sunday good as he turned out of the Nam 